illegal roadblocks on major highways by unscrupulous people wearing security like attires has prompted the police and star security agencies to crack down on people with the clothes similar to police and the army attire. Besides, the public should know that the illegal possession and all use of military attires contravenes the sections 160, 161 and 164 of the UPDA, UPDF Act 2005. To begin with, police patterned with ghetto youths with 10,000 offer for voluntary surrender of military and police-like fatigues. Uh, in our efforts to put the people at the center of national security while promoting community policing and civil police cooperation. To that end, the ghetto youth coordinators in Kampala, Wakiso, Nansana and Mukono were tasked with the collection of the illegal attires from the public and hand them over to the territorial police. The consignment of 1,865 pieces include overalls, shoes, berets, caps, shirts among others. The owners of the illegal attires were also assured of protection from prostitution provided they handed over the items within the 14-day grace period. Amongst the items that we gathered, we had trousers, 650 trousers, skirts, 104, shirts, 132, t-shirts, 341, uh, caps, 161, jackets. The Directorate of Crime Intelligence has now embarked on forceful hunt to those remaining with such attires after the expiry of this two weeks grace period. Traders are cautioned against dealing in clothes similar to police and army attire. During the end of this phase one, the police with the support of sister security agencies has now embarked on phase two during which anyone found in possession or use of military or police uniforms or attires that resemble such uniforms will be arrested and charged. Among the recovered clothes, 120 for UPDF, 77 for police, and 1,668 are look-alike to the security attires. The Director of Crime Intelligence also came out to appeal to the public to desist from buying or acquiring such illegal at, uh, attires. According to police, this operation was successful with the proper coordinators of ghetto youth with assurance of no consequences upon submission. Abdul Nasir Lubwama and Lydia Chomkama, UBC News.